In this video, I'm going to go over the uh, aeroponic system that I have uh, completed. And this is the growth of the, my plants here uh, for over eight weeks now from seed. And this is in the winter months. So uh, that time frame should shorten up to six weeks during the spring and summer and fall months. Um, this is just a winter, winter month growth uh, that I have going here. Now, the plants that I have growing, that I've planted and are growing, this is a uh, black seeded Simpson. And you can see the uh, root growth, very white roots, very healthy, uh, some nice tap roots growing here. Very, very uh, good growth. I'm very impressed with this system so far. I have built, um, this will probably be my third or fourth aquaponic system. I've had uh, a fill and flush system uh, and two uh, systems for uh, pond, fish ponds. And then I had another, another system um, that I had a deep wa water culture. And then I'm all, I have also uh, done the hydroponics as far as the cracking system. That's what this used to be. I used to have this, this used to be a cracking system and I have converted it to uh, this aeroponic system basically because uh, this wasn't exactly perfectly level so I was having some issues with the, uh, the water level. Uh, another thing is I would have to plant one tub at a time completely filled with plants. I couldn't have one plant that was completely finished and one plant that I would just started. They all had to be planted at the same time and that was because of the water level. Um, I had to basically plant it out and then let the plants eat, drink the water uh, and, the, and the nutrients. And then um, <clears throat> I can only do one tub at a time to keep because of the root growth. Now, uh, another, this here is a Grant Paul Admire lettuce plant. As you can see, the uh, root growth on it, again, is, is really, really nice looking. Uh, this is eight weeks growth. Actually, this one is probably about six weeks of growth. Uh, these, these front ones, is, I did eight weeks, and then two weeks later, I planted these, and then two weeks later, I planted these. And I'm kind of trying to do it in an order, orderly fashion so we can have a steady, uh, steady amount of, of uh, greens coming in ready to eat. And this here, this one is a uh, tennis ball lettuce. And again, it's a uh, plant roots are looking really good. Has some nice tap roots. Uh, and this is really looking roots, really good looking roots. And that's a, a tennis ball lettuce I have there. And then back here, my uh, pump just came on, so I'm going to be watering here. This is uh, some lettuce that I had just, <laughs> we had bought them from the store, and I just decided to see if uh, I could get this to regrow. And it's, it's, starting, to, it's starting to come around. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of lettuce this is. It's just store-bought from the grocery store. I also uh, did the exact same thing with this uh, celery plant. I'm just, I'm just trying to see how this works and as you can see we got some root growth started uh, and we'll see if this this uh, celery you know grows up and we can re-harvest it and eat it, eat it, continue eating on it. Have to see how that goes. I'm kind of interested in how that goes. This plant back over here, this is a uh, this is a cabbage plant. It's an Asian cabbage uh, We'll have to cook this and to eat it. You can't eat this raw or shouldn't eat it raw. Uh, but we'll cook it up, steam it, fry it. We'll figure out something somehow to cook it. Here I have some onions. Um, and these onions are, what are these onions? These are evergreen long white onions. These take a little longer to, um, 
to, to mature uh, than the other ones. But again, they I just wanted to see how onions uh, grew in it. And they seem to be doing just fine. Great. Now as far as how the system is put together and how it's designed, um, I have three two foot by three foot concrete mixing tubs. And I, I picked these up from like Home Depot or Lowe's. I, I got these uh, years ago and have just used them for different projects. Like I said, at first this was a, uh, a cracky uh, system where, where this was just filled up with water and some nutrients were put in there and I was growing, uh, growing my uh, greens that way. And since then I've changed because again, there was a water level in issue. Uh, I think the, the back part of this has kind of sunken down a little bit. So the level of the water wasn't, wasn't uh, perfect. So I've decided to change and plus I just wanted to see how, how this aeroponic system would work. Um, on the top here, I have a three quarter sheet of, uh, this is a, just a polystyrene. Uh, insulation. It's just a, a styrofoam that you can get um, from the hardware store as well. It has like a mylar on it, a silver mylar, and I have that on the top. And then I went ahead and uh, painted the top of them with just uh, some regular latex paint I had laying around. And so that way too much um, sun doesn't reflect back to the plant. Now, because if you don't paint these and you have the styrofoam actually exposed, the UV rays will, will deteriorate, uh, will eventually deteriorate them. So it's good if you just put a coat of uh, latex paint on them, that solves that problem. Um, and on the inside, well again, from the bottom I have a solar pump. Uh, it's like a 12 or 24 volt solar pump. It can run on either voltage, but I have it hooked up to a 24 volt. My, my system here is a 24 volt system. So it's running on 24 volts, and it pumps water from uh, the very base, um, my sump, on my aquaponics system, it pumps up and uh, through a 3 three eighths inch pipe, and then I have that stuffed into a uh, half inch PVC pipe, and it comes up, and then it's teed off in here. Uh, I have a, a some going this way, and a tee going this way, and they're teed together. And then I have uh, three nozzles, 360 degree nozzles, spray nozzles uh, inside each one of these two um, buckets. And in this bucket back here, since I'm only utilizing a third of it, I only have one nozzle in that one. So there are a total of uh, seven nozzles that are spraying on these plants. Uh, every and they spray I have it set on a timer and the timer sprays every 15 minutes on 15 minutes off 15 minutes on 15 minutes off um, let's see and how I put these these grow pots these are three inch grow pots and uh, you can go and buy a, a three inch hole saw cutter if you would like, um, wanna, if you want to do these, it does work. Uh, using them, I have actually used them in the past uh, with the two inch size. But these three inches, I decided that I wanted to try something a little different. And what I did was I took a, uh, actually I think it was our, uh, a can of uh, black eyed peas that we had in January. Uh, actually January 1st, first we did have black eyed peas and I took that can and I used that can and I actually used that can to melt the holes uh, so that way you don't get any uh, you don't get any styrofoam, little styrofoam pieces that stick all over you from the static electricity and all that stuff. It just melts and it works great. And that pretty much uh, sums up our aeroponics and aquaponics system that we have going here. Uh, this should supply us with our uh, our greens uh, year round, uh, her lettuces at least, and, and, and maybe a few other things. Um, but don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. 
uh, for future updates on our aeroponics system, and as well as our aquaponics system, as well as uh, a number of other things that we have going on uh, in our life. We'll see you later.